Imagine if you experienced the world as if you were always wearing headphones. All sounds are muffled and you are constantly straining to decipher the words and sounds around you. Imagine only being able to fully understand movies, TV, and audio when they were captioned. What if you were being graded on what your teacher was saying? How would that affect your life? Would you withdraw from groups, avoid social functions? Would people assume you're mad at them because your face is strained while you're trying to read their lips so that you can decipher what they're saying? Would people avoid you at work or socially because they are tired of repeating themselves? Do you think your boss might get upset when you left the conversation before it was over because you thought they were done? Would you feel left out and misunderstood? How would your world be different if you had a hearing impairment? Welcome to the world of the hearing impaired. Approximately 20% of Americans have hearing loss. 60% of people with hearing impairment are either in the workplace or in an educational setting. It is difficult to tell when a person has hearing loss. Often they don't even know it and will cope for years with their disability. Allow me to share my story. My name is Christina Moore and I am an instructional designer. You can find me online at www.christinamoredesign.com. I started to lose my hearing when I was about 18, but I didn't realize it until I was 29. I was in college and pursuing a Bachelor of Arts degree. In order to get that degree, I had to have two years of college-level foreign language. I was halfway through my second year of French when suddenly I couldn't pass the listening comprehension portion of the test. I dreamt in French, I could read and write it fluently, but no matter how loud I made the headphones, I couldn't seem to understand the spoken words. I thought there was something wrong with my attention span, something wrong with my brain. I ended up switching over to a Bachelor of Science to avoid the foreign language requirement. I didn't have my hearing tested until I was 29, so for 11 years I went untreated with a significant disability. I learned to cope by watching movies and television with the captions on, however the real world wasn't so easy. Often I would pretend I heard what people said to me, read their lips, nod my head, or guess at what they were saying. At 29, I went to my first otolaryngologist, also known as an ear, nose, and throat doctor, or ENT. The hearing test showed that I had significant nerve deafness, specifically in the range of speech. When I got my first hearing aids, I was in awe at all I had been missing out on, and at the same time, I felt overwhelmed with the noise. I had coped for so long with my hearing loss that my brain had become used to a quiet world. An important tool for the deaf and hearing impaired community is the use of closed captions. Closed captions are typed out words that sync with the audio. They allow people like myself to read what someone is saying. We depend on them for movies, TV shows, news, podcasts, online courses, Anywhere there is a video audio element. It is not always possible to read lips. Think about how many times you listen to someone speak without even seeing their face. The majority of most movies and all of audio is this way. In the master's program that I'm in, there is heavy use of audio and video in our program and very little use of closed captioning. Many programs and sites have automatic captioning. If an instructor were to upload their video to YouTube, there is an auto-captioning program that tries to add the captions. However, it is much better if the producer uploads their captions manually, as I have done with this video. In our learning management system, Canvas, no such option is available. In PowerPoint, Captivate, Lectora, Art and Articulate, captioning is fairly easy to add to presentations. So as an educator, please keep the hearing impaired community in mind 
when developing your materials. Just as non-sighted people depend on alt tags and descriptions, the hearing impaired depend on closed captions. You'll be helping an entire community access your message. There are many reasons to caption your videos. Here are a few. Your search engine optimization, or SEO, will increase. People will be able to watch your material even when they can't turn on the volume, like in a noisy place or somewhere they need to be quiet. English language learners will have an enhanced experience. It's easier for them to understand what you're saying if they can read it. Your materials could be translated to different languages. You'll be providing accessible materials to everybody and protecting yourself from discrimination lawsuits at the same time. And finally, it's just the right thing to do. If you would like more information, please visit my network learning space on Facebook, Full Life with Hearing Loss. It is a public group open to everyone and has many resources for people with hearing loss and their friends and family.